Hi, welcome to everyone. Today we will discuss about static analysis to sonar cube from sonar source. Sonar source is a home of clean code and is trusted by 7 million developers. Sonar helps to build high quality code quickly and systematically. The leading products are uh, Sonar Cube, Sonar Cloud, and Sonar Lint. Sonar Cube, self-managed static analysis tool for continuous code base inspection, and Sonar Cloud, cloud-based static analysis tool for your CI CD workflows. And Sonar Lint, it's a free IDE extensions that provides on-the-fly analysis and coding guidelines, example, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Eclipse. So these are the tools where developers can install the extension of Sonar Lint and configure the static analysis tool. Sonar Cube. What is Sonar Cube? Sonar Cube is a self-managed automatic code review tool that systematically helps you to deliver clean code. Sonar Cube integrates into your existing workflow and detects issues in your code to help to perform continuous code inspections of your projects. Sonar Cube is an open source platform that helps developers to monitor and manage the quality of their code. It provides a comprehensive set of tools for analyzing the code, identifying the issues, tracking the code changes, and measuring the overall health of the software project. SonarCube can analyze code written in variety of programming languages, including Java, C++, C Sharp, JavaScript, Python, and other languages. It uses a set of rules and metrics to evaluate the quality of code and generate reports and visualization that make it easier to identify and prioritize the issues. Sonar Cube Futures analyze the quality of all the languages in your projects, the patch bugs, close vulnerabilities, and follow best practices with a single source of truth. So it supports more than 30 plus languages, frameworks, and infrastructure as code frameworks. The second was integration with DevOps platform, easy project onboarding with integrations to GitHub, GitLab, Azure, and Bitbucket in both in cloud and on-prem, plus a Jenkins plugin and easy integrations with the popular CI tools and build systems. The third one is quality gate. It's, it's used to mainly to fail the pipelines when the code quality doesn't meet your defined requirements and prevent problems from being merged or deployed. The fourth one, high operability. Run your instance your way as a service on Docker or with Kubernetes with vertical and horizontal scaling support plus multi-threaded server-side processing. The fifth point, super fast analysis. Super fast analysis get you actionable clean code metrics in minutes instead of hours. Six point security rules receive actionable high precision feedback at the right place and time benefit from 5000 plus coding rules in industry leading timed analysis of Java, C sharp, PHP, Python, JavaScript, 
and the TypeScripts. Shared and unified configurations align your team with the consistent definitions of code health. Collaborate efficiently in making your code clean and meeting your team's code quality expectations. Sonar Lint IDE integrations. Add the Sonar Lint extensions to your favorite IDE and find code issues on the fly. Sonar Cube rules and analysis settings synchronized to Sonar Lint, aligning teams around a single standard of clean code. So these are the some of the important Sonar Cube features before we start using the Sonar Cube. Sonar Cube components as a Sonar Cube overall architecture, there are three different components. First, first one is Sonar Cube Server, a web server that serves Sonar Cube user interface, a search, a server based on Elasticsearch, the compute engine in charge of processing code, analysis report, and saving them in the Sonar Cube database. So it's like a web applications. Once we configure the Sonar Cube, where we can able to share dashboards, which shows the metrics and all necessary administrative related configurations. The next one is database server, where we can able to configure the database to collect the metrics and issues from the code quality and the security generated during code scans, the Sonar Cube instance configurations are connected with the database server. So the, for example, we have SQL Server, Oracle, Postgres SQL. So several external database engines are supported here. Sonar Cube Scanner, one or more scanners running on your build or continuous integration servers to analyze the projects. So basically, the Sonar Scanner is used to scan the source files and send the analysis report to web server. Then the web server will compute <coughs> and then it will store the data in the database and it can be shown in the dashboards. So this overall three different components used in the Sonar Cube. Sonar Cube analysis, how Sonar Cube analysis works as a core engine. Sonar Cube analysis works by scanning the source code of a project and applying a set of predefined rules to evaluate its quality. Here are the basic steps involved in the analysis process. First one is code retrieval. Code is retrieved from a version control system or a local file systems. It could be your uh, Bitbucket or GitLab or any version control systems where you have your code. You need to clone or pull the code. So that's the main first point in the code retrieval. The second point is compilations. <clears throat> the code is parsed and compiled using the appropriate language compiler or interpreter. So for example, when you take a Java projects, which is used by the Java compiler, where we can be able to compile the source code and get the necessary compilation process. Next one is analysis. The code is analyzed by the Sonar Cube static code analysis engine. The analysis engine examines the code for potential issues such as bugs, vulnerabilities, code smells, and other quality issues, including security violations. The issues identified in the analysis are classified based on their severity and are assigned to a specific areas of code such as files or metrics or methods. The 
fourth point is metrics. Metrics are calculated based on the code analysis, such as code coverage, code complexity, and code duplications. The result of the analysis are displayed in the dashboard or a report allowing developers to easily identify and prioritize the issues for remediations. SonarCube analysis can be executed locally on a developer machines or it can be integrated into a continuous integration CI pipeline, allowing developers to get feedback on code quality in the real time. SonarCube also provides the ability to configure custom rules and metrics, allowing the team members to tailor the analysis process to their specific needs. The installation process, there are two types of installations installing SonarCube from a zip file, where we can able to download the zip file from Sonar Source website, SonarCube documentations, extract the zip file, and setting access to database, where we are going to already configure the database using PostgreSQL or Oracle or MySQL, and adding the JDBC driver in the config file. Configuring the elastic search storage path. Once all the configurations, necessary configurations are done in the config file, and start the web server, which will provide a complete, neat dashboards where we can be able to create a project, provide access to the users, connect LDAP, then get more metrics out of that. And then the second way of configuring a sonar cube installing SonarCube for the Docker image. So this is a state away process as a containerization where we can be able to get a Docker image and then make it up. So it will be easy to maintain, it's easy to upgrade. So it's I, I would prefer like uh, installing SonarCube from Docker image is more flexible as a DevOps engineer. Next, we are going to see about um, two types of analysis configurations. It's nothing but a build configurations. SonarCube supports multiple popular languages, development frameworks, and IAC platforms like Terraform, Docker, Kubernetes, Java, C, TypeScripts. So, when it comes to the C or C, Objective C, so we need to consider um, what are the ways to do a configurations. For analyzing the C or C++ object to C, the project requires a sonar scanner CLI. It's a small tool where we can be able to download from the sonar cube documentation page. It should be configured in your machines where you are going to compile your code. So to Analyze a C or C Objective C projects. There are two ways to provide the build configuration to the analyzer. One is called um, Sonar Source Build Wrapper. The Sonar Source Build Wrapper enforces running the build before the analysis, which ensures that the code is in the good shape for analysis. The code is compilable, the configuration file is not outdated and the generated source files are available during the analysis. So in this case, we need to download a build wrapper directly from our configured server on the specific path, and then configure the same in the machine where we are going to run the sonar scanner CLI. So to, to scan the C, C++ object to C, in the compilation machines, we need two things. One is the sonar scanner CLI plus the build wrapper. So these are two essential things we need. So it can sonar CLI can collect the report and send to the dashboard. The next one is compilation database. When your system build system is not supported by build wrapper, then we can go for a 
compilation database. You don't want to run a clean build of your project, which is recorded by build wrapper before analysis. If you are, you are in the Mac OS, any versions of the Apple Silicon hardware ARM architecture, then we need to use compilation database. If you are on the Mac OS greater than 13 version with the Intel hardware x86 64 architecture, then we need to go for compilation database. So these are the two different types of build configurations we need to configure. A general recommendation is use build wrapper unless you have a good reasons not to use. So for other languages like Java, Python, JavaScript type scripts, we can directly call the sonar scanner CLI command lines, or we can define the properties to run the CLI to collect the reports and share it to the sonar cube server. So these are the basic, very basic introduction about the sonar cube. What is sonar cube and what are the components are there and what are the features available and how the sonar cube analysis internally works and how to install and configure a sonar cube server and then sonar CLI and how to run a CRC++ project using sonar scan CLI and the sonar cube server. Please subscribe to the channel and get notifications for more upcoming videos. Thank you.